All right, class. Uh, this is a demonstration that I went over with you in class. Uh, first thing we're going to do is open up PowerPoint. We're going to learn to insert a screenshot into PowerPoint using Google Maps. So the first thing you need to do is open up Microsoft PowerPoint and pick a design. I'm just going to pick a, this design to get started with. We'll go uh, type a title slide. You can pick any design that you feel appropriate. The good thing about PowerPoint in picking a template is if you pick a template that you don't like, halfway through you can change it. I'll show you that. So now I've decided I don't like this design, so I'm going to choose uh, this design, which is the same as this one. You put your mouse over it to give you a preview of what it looks like, and be aware that you can click these up and down arrows in 2010 to have more options. So I'm going to choose this one. Inserting multimedia into PowerPoint. Um, and I'm going to add a new slide. I'm going to go to right click, new slide. When this comes up, now we're going to go find ourselves a picture. So we go down to Google and we click on Maps. And you can type any landmark. You can click on your, um, type your address. You can type uh, your grandma's address, uh, your son's address, whoever you want to do. The main thing is that you learn how to use um, some of those uh, geospatial technology uh, tools that are out there. I'm going to use um, a historic location here in Edgecombe County, um, and it's my home also, uh, Old Sparta. In Edgecombe County was the uh, one of the first settlements in Edgecombe County, and I'm going to zoom in on top of my house. Um, there's a couple ways to zoom in. You can use this little plus signal here, or you can use your middle mouse button to scroll, and you can click and drag your location. So I'm going to zoom in on top of my house. I'm going to take this picture. There's a button on your keyboard up in the top right hand corner that's very rarely used anymore. It's called the print screen button. Used, used to that would literally print to the printer. So we're going to use print screen. Nothing will happen. You will not see anything happen at that point. But it did happen. So go back to your presentation. Go to insert because we're inserting something. And that was a screenshot. And because I hit print press print screen I can click here and we'll put that there now I do not want the browser and I do not want all this other stuff around it so I'm going to do something called crop crop is eliminating the parts of the picture that you do not want so I'm going to click on crop and you get this little cropping signals up these little black borders now this isn't resizing this is cropping which means I'm going to eliminate these parts here I just want to isolate on my house and my property. And that's the little town creek behind my house. Good little fishing hole back there. And then I'm going to resize it by just dragging it. Now be careful how you resize from left to right. You lose what they call aspect ratio. And that makes it unproportioned to um, height and width. So I'm going to put this house here and I'm going to type in Old Sparta NC. So I'm done with that picture. The next thing we need to do is a street shot. So I'm going to go to insert, new slide, and go back to Google Maps. And there's a couple ways to get there also, but um, a fun way is to when you put your mouse over that little dude, he kind of stands out. 
you can click on him and drag him to the street where you want him to go and drop him. Now this will be interesting. It's interesting to me anyway. You can look around all you want. Um, there's actually a van that drives around for Google that takes pictures of everything around it. So um, I'm going to take you to my house and as you can see the picture of my house is not as up to date as the picture from the uh, satellite because that's my single wide trailer that I lived in for several years saving up money to build my house so I want to stop here and they're actually digging footers for my house so I'm press print screen again go back into PowerPoint street view and I'm gonna go back to here insert screenshot click here using the crop tool again crop it from left to right from top to bottom and then click outside do this now if I decided I took off too much of my picture you can click on crop and always add back onto it that's a neat little feature and um, is often used so but anyway that's your possibility so we do street view and there you go you got a um, looking at your rubric you want to make sure you have a um, appropriate template you have a title slide include the information your names course section and date um, find the overview shot type in the name of the place that you um, have adjust the picture to make it look good and then go to street view and then you're done you'll save file save as and I'm just gonna put it on my desktop for the time being and then you'll save it and then you'll go to Moodle and you'll upload it so hopefully this will help you if the classroom demonstration wasn't enough and you want to practice it more this will help you out